Welcome to my vegan kitchen. So today I have another quick, easy, and delicious recipe for you guys. So macaroni salad is a favorite. It's a favorite, especially through spring, going into summer. However, I never liked it. I just felt like it needed more flavor. So I put my own twist on it. I have today island macaroni salad. If you guys want to make this, you want to try it, I'm going to do it now. So come with me, guys. So we're going to first start with whatever takes the longest to cook or probably whatever doesn't need the full attention or preparation right now, right? So because we're going to use pasta, we need to get that pasta water boiling. So I have a pot of water with salt. Come on in. I have a pot of um, a saucepan of water with salt and we're going to bring that to a boil. So I have it on high and let's bring that to a boil. While that is coming up and starting to boil, let's head over here because we're going to add everybody's favorite jackfruit into this recipe. Jackfruit is going to act as the chicken in this recipe. Yes, I'm adding, I'm really changing up that macaroni salad recipe and I'm adding jackfruit because I want, I, I wanted to add a little bit of like texture to it. I just hate the way the pasta and the cream is just, that's it. There's nothing else to it. So we're gonna add a little texture and we're gonna use jackfruit. I am using green jackfruit in the can. Now, because this has like a little bit of briny and I get a comments about that a lot. So briny usually for me, there's different definitions for it, but it has almost like a little bit of like a bitter taste to it. And it comes from, you know, it's sitting in the can. So we're gonna try to get rid of that taste by just soaking it in some hot water. Some people boil it and you can, but I, I really don't like to boil the jackfruit because I feel like it just kind of breaks it down too much. So what I'm gonna do is just strain off the water, just like that, in a colander. And then, come in, let me show them. So for those of you who've never seen what the jackfruit look like, I even get comments from some of you that said you've purchased jackfruit, have it sitting in your cabinet, you have no idea what to do with it, you've never opened it, so you don't know what it looks like. So this is what it looks like. It's just like, it's basically, it's a fruit. It's a fruit. And this is before the jackfruit actually gets ripe, so it's not sweet. There's really no flavor, but like I said, it does have that like bitter brininess from the can. So all I'm gonna do is break it up. There is a seed that is in the jackfruit and some people like to remove it, but I'm gonna break this up to the point where you won't even notice that there's a seed in it. I'm just gonna break down that seed. So once I break it down, I'm just gonna use some regular old. If you really want to, you can use like boiling water on this, but I'm just gonna use the old tap water, just some really hot tap water. And I'm gonna cover the jackfruit with that tap water and let it kind of sit for maybe about 10 minutes. Once it sits for about 10 minutes, I'm gonna drain, squeeze out all the water from the jackfruit, and then I'm gonna show you guys what to do with the jackfruit next. This is nice and broken down. So this is kind of what it should look like, guys. See, I just removed, broke it down. The seed is right there. I just used my fingers to just kind of break it down. And then I'm just gonna add some hot water. So while that's soaked, we're gonna put our pasta in the water. So come in, let them see. I am just, I'm using Bonza pasta, and this is a chickpea Pasta meaning it's made from chickpeas. Now you can use whatever pasta you want, depending on your dietary needs. Um, I like chickpeas pasta. Sometimes when I eat pasta, I get a little bloated, and I'm sure that happens to a lot of you guys. Because this is made from chickpeas and not flour, um, you know, wheat flour, I don't get that bloated feeling, so I am using this pasta. You can use rice, you can use, um, again, whatever, you can use wheat pasta, whatever works for you. I'm just gonna use bonza. Now this chickpea pasta, let me grab a spoon, cooks really quick. So follow the directions on your package if you choose to use this pasta. Let me get this out of the way before I start a fire. <laughs> use, um, 
go by the directions. Let, let me catch my training thought. Go by the directions that you have on your pasta to cook it. Like I said, this cooks really quickly. So even though the package says like seven to nine minutes, I usually let it cook to about like five to six minutes because I still want it to be a little firm. I don't want it to be mushy at all in this recipe. So this water is coming back to a boil. I'm gonna keep my eye on that pasta and I will check on the jackfruit because it's still soaking. So it's been about 10 minutes. Uh, my jackfruit has soaked to get that briny taste out. But let me go over to the skillet right over here because we're going to brown this jackfruit in a skillet on the stove. So I got my skillet heated. I'm going to add some oil. And guys, don't worry about the measurements. I will have it all in the description box below. So don't worry about any of the measurements, like I said right now, just kind of follow what I'm doing. So I added some grapeseed oil to my skillet. I'm gonna head over back over here to the jackfruit. Remember, I had it in this colander. I'm gonna just squeeze out as much water as I possibly can. You wanna get this jackfruit as dry as possible. So squeeze out as much water as you possibly can. But because I can't do it all in the colander, I suggest you grab a dish towel, place the jackfruit in the dish towel, and squeeze the heck out of it. Because you want to make sure this is really nice and dry. This just keeps the jackfruit from being really soggy. You want to have some crispy pieces in there, because remember, it's going to go in cream, and it's going to sit in cream, especially if you want to make it ahead of time, and you really don't want to make it like really mushy and soggy. You want it to feel like they're eating pieces of chicken. Make sense? All right. Look at that, <laughs> look how it came out. So this is what it looks like and just break it apart with your hands. And there we go, we're back, back in business. We have our jackfruit, we head it over to the pot. We're here now and I'm just gonna put my jackfruit right into the skillet. Let me grab a spoon, come in, let them see what this looks like. Now you can use two cans of jackfruit if you wanted more meat, let's say, in your um, pasta. But I didn't want it to overtake the pasta salad because I'm still gonna have other ingredients in there. So we're just gonna use one can of jackfruit. But if you're looking for like a large amount of people, I suggest you use two cans because you really want to like, you know, pack in a lot of flavor and texture. So we're just gonna leave this jackfruit here and let it brown for a couple of minutes. It might take about five minutes or so to brown. Just kind of keep an eye on it. And let me check on the pasta. Cause like I said, this cooks pretty quickly and I don't want to overcook the pasta. All right, looking at the time, it looks like we got maybe two more minutes. Let me just test it with my hand. It, see, it's almost done already. All right, let's grab this pasta and let's head to the sink. Let me just strain it. Ooh, there's some pasta left over in here. All right. And I'm just gonna run some cold water or room, room temperature, not too cold, not too hot, water over my pasta and I'm gonna just set that on the side. All right, guys, let's check on the jackfruit. I gave the jackfruit about five minutes, and this is where we're at. If you can see, some of the pieces are brown. That This is perfect. This is what we want it to look like, because now I'm going to add my chopped onions to the pot. So I have some chopped onions here. I'm just going to add it right into my skillet, kind of move it around, combine it a little bit, and I'm going to allow those onions to kind of um, become translucent before I add the rest of the ingredients. That should just take maybe one or two minutes. So you just leave that and let that become a little bit brown. All right guys, so my um, onions have become translucent. So it's time to season up this baby. So come in close so we can see. I'm going to add some liquid smoke because we want to give this a smoky flavor, almost like we barbecued the chicken. So that's my liquid smoke. I'm gonna add some smoked paprika. I'm going with the smoky theme. Some smoked paprika, that is gonna give it flavor, but it also gives your jackfruit this beautiful color. I'm gonna also add garlic powder. And remember I said, I'll have all the ingredients listed below, so don't worry about it. And some salt, because we gotta season this baby up, okay? So pretty much, that's my seasoning. And you, you're gonna notice now the pan is pretty dry. That's okay. 
That is cool because that's how we want it to be because we're going to add it to a creamy sauce, like I said before. So you don't want it too wet. You want it nice and dry, almost like you had chicken breast that um, was roasted and you just kind of shredded it, right? All right. And that's it. This is done. This is seasoned. It is cooked. I'm going to remove it from the stove and I'm just going to place it on my So we have the, the vegetables chopped. So now we're going to make the cream sauce, the mayonnaise sauce for this pasta. And basically all I'm using is some vegan mayonnaise and <laughs> my favorite jerk sauce, right? Everything got jerk sauce, Korean barbecue sauce or coconut milk. Y'all should know this by now. Have those items stocked in your pantry because I'm always going to be using them. All right, so we're just using a little vegan mayonnaise. Again, I'll have the measurements for you guys, so don't worry about it, all right? So some vegan mayonnaise and the jerk seasoning. Let me get a little spoon. And this you're gonna kinda have to use your own personal preference. I like my food spicy, so I use a lot of jerk seasoning. If you don't like a lot of jerk seasoning, don't use a lot of jerk seasoning. And this is all I'm doing. Just mixing these two together. It's not the prettiest, but it's nice when you get it inside of the salad. But that's it. I'm just mixing these two, combining it into a nice creamy paste. And this is my mayonnaise jerk flavor sauce. My cream sauce, all right? Now, mm. Mm -mm -mm. tastes like jerk already. So now we're gonna assemble everything. I got a bowl. My pasta is nice and cooled down. Pasta in the bowl, nice and easy. Okay, then I'm gonna add some red onions, some celery. I finely chopped the celery up, okay guys? No big pieces. So finely chopped celery, finely chopped um, onions. The peppers, you can leave them regular diced so they can have a, a pretty appeal. And this is my green onion and my cilantro, finely, finely chopped. Again, you wanna bring out the flavor in this dish, so you don't want anything, any big pieces. You're trying to really get the flavor. So I'm just gonna mix those together, mix all those ingredients together, because I kind of wanted to get into the macaroni before I put any other ingredient in. So I kind of mix that together. Now I'm gonna add my cream, my jerk cream, my jerk mayonnaise, jerk mayo. And this is an idea for you guys. You could use this on like a sandwich spread, as a sandwich spread, that's what I meant to say. And we're just gonna go in, mix that in, get it all incorporated, make sure all of the macaroni has some of this dressing on it. Get it in there. See how nice and creamy that looks? Yay. You know that has flavor already. All right, now we're gonna go grab the jackfruit. And that is the surprise star of the show. And that jackfruit is cooled down, it's nice and seasoned. We're gonna put that right there. We're gonna put that right there in it. Yes, yes, yes. Because I tell you, I used to taste macaroni salad before. I was like, what kind of, what, what mess is this? It needs something else. And look at this, look, look at this. Now if somebody walked in the kitchen, they'd be like, you eat chicken? Mm-mm. That is my favorite, my best friend, jackfruit. Jackfruit, my friend now. If y'all watch any of the previous videos, who y'all know me and Jackfruit be going through them. Me and Jack, mm. our relationship has gotten better though. It's gotten much better. And now I love him. I love me some Jack. Especially in this recipe. Oh, this is gonna be good. All right, this is all blended. Let me plate it up and I'm gonna taste it for you guys. You see how excited I am? I can't wait, I can't wait. All right, let me get all this good stuff off the sponge. And I'll get a plate and we're gonna taste it. All right, guys. A little bit on the plate, guys. Let's get a little bit on the plate. I'm gonna just put a little bit for now. When the cameras go off, I'm gonna eat some more. Just for y'all. I'm, I'm gonna do a little bit. Mm, this is so good. All right, let's try it. And look close. You see that? 
that looks like chicken. That's the piece of chicken right there. And you see you got all this flavor. Like I said, this you can make ahead of time because all the, the ingredients are gonna marinate and just, oh, it's gonna be so good. So it might not be something you wanna make right away and then like, you know, um, share it out so everybody can have it. You might wanna make it ahead of time and just let those flavors marinate. Ooh, I've had this on the second, even the third day. It's really, really good. But let me taste this for you guys right now. Mmm. It's good. Oh my God. Even I just said wait two days, a day or so. Mm -mm. This right here, this is really, really good. Oh my goodness. Guys, take this this weekend to any kind of event that you're having with family. Don't say nothing. Please don't say nothing. Just bring it in, dish it out, and let them eat it. Let them try to figure out what it is. Right, yes. So they won't know. Again, guys, thank you for joining me in my vegan kitchen. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Just click on that bell so you'll get all the notifications whenever I come out with a new video. And I truly appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for spending your time in my vegan kitchen. And please try this recipe. It's another good one. All right, guys, bye.